Alenjin has promised me he will set the ordinary people free. Take everyone out of here in a couple of days. Yes, Your Grace. Alima will take the two of you to Ningxuo. Your Grace, when shall we start then? In a day or two. You better get ready. When that day comes. I won't come to see you off. Your Grace. But Auntie, what about you? You're not leaving with us. Jinshi, be good and listen to Alima. Mm. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Something happened to the mausoleum! What happened to it? A message came from the Imperial Mausoleum. There was a rainstorm last night. The mountain was struck by thunder, and the mountain peak was cut off. It slipped, and the Imperial Mausoleum was exposed. Its bottom was smashed by rocks. The Imperial Mausoleum collapsed. Get out! I did not expect that. The matter of my sister has caused us such a great uproar. Lately, I can't sleep and eat. I come here today on behalf of my little sister and also on behalf of my family. No matter what your majesty does, we'll never agree on sending troops to Hulan. Right now it's hard. His majesty truly lost his mind. Even the curse like the collapsing of the Imperial Mausoleum didn't change his mind. He's firm on this. If His Majesty insists on fighting against Hulan, we have... we have to give up our life. To stop His Majesty and Prime Minister Wen, I hope that... His Majesty will change his mind. Do you still remember? The testamentary edict by the Grand Emperor? It clearly says there. If the Emperor of later generations is incompetent, the noble class can report it jointly to make His Majesty proclaim his introspection. So we can use the testamentary edict of the Grand Emperor to forcibly stop His Majesty? We begged him but failed. We have no other way out. There is no better way than this, am I right? We can do as Lord Jiangxia said. We can use the edict to stop His Majesty from making mistake. And if His Majesty wants to punish, I will step up and take all the blame for us. No. I will march with you, Prime Minister. We will all march with you, Prime Minister. We are with you.
Come in. You invited me over to have tea with you? I think incense and tea can help us have a better talk. You have good taste, unique from normal men. Sit down. That day in the palace hall, no one stood out to say something. Now rumors are spreading through the town. What do you think about it, General Song? It's said His Majesty will start a war for Princess Consort Yu Chang, and that caused the curse. Mm. It's true, His Majesty was once stabbed to save Ao Wu. He could sacrifice his own life, let alone others just for her. What His Majesty did seems inappropriate, but Lord Jiangsha, you're the brother of her grace. Will you leave her? All alone in Hulan? Hmm. She is my only sister. How could I leave her? I have sent my best secret guards to inquire about her. Lord Jamsha. Actually, after I heard about the news, I also had a letter sent to Ningxuo. What? Her grace has a reputation in Ningxuo. Ningxuo army will not stand idly by. That is noble and loyal of you, General Song. <sighs> to be frank with you, the way I see it, considering your current status now, you will eventually gain a position in the noble high court. Someday, you're sure to be a hero who will end these tempestuous days. Thank you, Lord Zhangshao. You are flattering me. However strong and great my ability is, after all, I'm still from the lower class. <gasps> it's not for sure. I heard you will set off for the border tomorrow. Are you trying to stop me too? I'm not, of course not, Your Majesty. I know very well in my mind how you love Princess Concert. With what happened to the mausoleum, everyone will stop you. Even if you have to sacrifice your life, I know you will get her back without even thinking twice. That's why I would like to go with you, Your Majesty. Do you know how dangerous it is to go to Hulan? Knowing the princess is still alive, I felt quite overjoyed and excited. To be honest, for me... She's like my own sister. In the whole world, I care about her the most. Like you do, Your Majesty. So please... Let me. I would like to go with you to Hulan. To help save her grace. Wherever you go, Your Majesty, I'll follow even if I have to die. Your Majesty, please take me with you.
Stand up. I permit you. I'm grateful. I'll go get packed then. Count Sui, how are you doing? Count Sui, you fought your way out from dead soldiers in Mars. You'd fear nothing even if I were a ghost. <gasps> Greetings, Prime Minister. <laughs> in the ancestral graves of our family lies my tomb. Just pretend that the old me is dead. It'll be easier. Count Su Yi. Do you still remember the secret decree in Jiangnan? Yes. I'm grateful to you for saving my life. Actually, I didn't save you. My father did. Lord Changsha, what do you mean? I beg your forgiveness. I didn't mean to hide it. It's just that my father barely survived. Many people want to kill him. After getting to know you more, you gained my confidence, so I can tell you all about it. When we were working in Jiangnan, my father heard the Empress Dowager asking me to kill you. He told me not to do it. My father said, you were a virtuous and talented person. You are important to our country. That's why we should never let the despicable murder you. I appreciate it. Don't worry, Prime Minister. I won't tell anyone what happened tonight. Not a single word to anyone. I brought myself here to personally meet you because I trust you. I know I can count on you. Prime Minister, what do you want me to do for you? Since our country was established. My family has been the head of the noble class for a hundred years. And now it is declining, but they still have their influence. Count Sui, you have great skills. You are promising. However, since you're from the lower class, you get discriminated by the noble class. Just like Shao Chi, who used to lead victories and even became a lord. What a shame. How did he end up in life? I'm sure you know the reason. After all, you were close to him. I don't believe you want to be just like him. You don't want to be another Shao Chi, do you? Count Sui, if you can cooperate with me, I will adopt you as my son. If we achieve our goal, you will be listed on my family. I will get rid of your lower class status. So by then, you will be the real head of the noble class. We will be family.
Are you going to rebel? Your Majesty. I'm afraid we cannot let you leave for Hulan today. The Grand Emperor's tablet. He left a testamentary edict in the temple. It clearly states here that if any emperor commits the crime of treason, noble clans can report to the throne and ask him to proclaim his introspection. The Imperial Mausoleum has collapsed. That is the biggest warning given from the heaven. But what was happened didn't change your mind. We have to stop you, your majesty. We're here to carry out the worst plan. We ask you to reflect your misdeeds in Shichen Palace. Everything about the court will be decided by us. The Imperial Court will not let you leave. Please go back, Your Majesty. Please go back inside, Your Majesty. This dagger has been with me for years. It protected my life. Take it with you. Your Grace, it's the high time. Please move to the Great Tent and do the wedding benediction. Let's eat to taste the wedding. Here's a reward. Great. Thank, Thank you. The king ordered to release all the slaves. All right. You there. Open the gates now. Open and let them all out. All right. Her grace releases you. You can all go home now. Go, you're free. Finally, Come on. Really? You can all go home now. Finally. Right here. Pangwe! Alima! Pangwe! Let's go! Did Holland Jen really let us go? Yes. Thank you! Wait, where is she? Where is her grace? Her grace ordered us to take them first. She says she won't leave. Tiaoha Chinchi, you will leave with Alima. Go with her. Go with her. Hurry up. Let's go. Jen will be here.
My cousin, who attracted all men in the country. Are you waiting to be Prince Jen's wife right now? You never give up. You feel nothing but hate for me. You're already Princess Consort Yu Chang. Now you want to be the Empress of Hulan? You really want it all. What are you going to do? Remember the debt you owed me? Today, I'm taking it back from you little by little. Today is the big day for Holland Jen. If you dare to hurt me, I'm afraid he will not let you go. Well, to tell you the truth, the wedding today is not really for you, cousin. Halan Chen, who claimed to love you and admire with all of his heart, is marrying someone else. You are like a bird in the cage right now. Whether dead or alive, I'm in charge of you. If you always believe it's all my fault, that's on you. I have nothing to justify. Jen, I beg you just for today. Set aside all the grudge you feel. Tomorrow, I'll be at your disposal. Are you begging me? All right. I'd like to see how my beautiful, proud cousin will kneel to beg me. The day I've been waiting for comes. Finally, I can see how you look in this dress. Beautiful. Let's start to forgive and forget what happened. From today on, I promise that I will accompany you, take care of you, and protect you, now and forever. Empress, Princess Mia from Kerr. What do you want from me? I want you to repent for everything. Bow your head to me. And beg me like how a beggar would beg. For food. Thank you.
you think it's enough? Remember when I begged for your help that time? I kowtowed for you. here you knew about it right Jen I'm so sorry about this this isn't my fault I tried my best to help where's Wang Shen this is all set by the king I can't interfere stop it Jen today's your wedding let me go stop Jen don't be impulsive Prince Chen I need to see the king. His Majesty said no one can get in. Move. We can't allow that! Kill the king! Guards! Capture him right now! Crime of rebelling! He blatantly murdered the king! I didn't! It's not me! Helen Tuo. It was you! You framed me! No one else was there! You were alone with him! Everyone saw you get in. If it's not you, then who did it? Everyone under my command! Take Helen Jen and his partners! to the fire execution field. Yes. yes! Take the woman. Bring her there, too. Yes.
Our beloved great king, who had been victorious in battles, but took care of his people and reigned over our beautiful grassland, has now left us. He was wrongfully taken from us. He was murdered! The murderer who did it out of grievance was his own son, Helen Jin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe the lies he just told you? Think about it. Tell me, why would I even want to murder our king? Think it over carefully. Who might be the most possible? The one who's capable of murdering the king? Who wants the throne most among all of us here? <laughs> How dare you talk about the throne? The last person to be qualified to rule over the grassland is you, Helen Jin! How could you think you have what it takes to reign over us? The king didn't let him marry Wang Shen, so he has been holding a grudge. He killed the king to take his throne. Kill him! 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 Bring the woman to me right now! Everyone, have a look! This is the woman. And now, I'll fulfill Helen Jen's wish. I will let them die together. Helen Tuo! If you're a real man, why don't you kill me right here, right now? Let go of her! Helen Tuo. I'm begging you. I beg you to release her. Before you die, Helen Jen, let me tell you something. The one who destroyed Lupin was not really Xiao Qi. It was me. Also, I was the one who really killed your mother and sister. I watched them die in front of me. You are such a beast! Kill him! 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 Today, I will fulfill the last wish of Elan Jen.
Haven't you always wanted to kill me? Now you have the chance to do it. Kill me. And leave Hulan. Live a good life. Stupid woman! I said kill him! What are you waiting for, Wang Shen? Kill me now! If you don't, you will not survive here. Xiao <sighs> Qi. I had him killed. I killed the one you love the most. Kill me now, and avenge your husband's death, Princess Consort Yu Zhang. Afraid to die. Who did I come all the way to Huisha for? I came to save you. Silly. I was so worried about you. You're always in danger. Do you think? Worried about me? If you care about me, you shouldn't have let them capture you. Now we are both trapped here helplessly. Father, Titan is trapped at Shichen Hall for several days. Good. How is Song Wayan doing? As the foremost general, he's quite popular, and everybody wants to draw him over. He's like Xiao Qi, but not the real Xiao Qi. Xiao Qi was frank and straightforward. He was thoughtful and independent, while Song Wayan is brave and a great warrior. He still lacks self-esteem and doubts himself. It's just like you and me. When he wants something for himself, he's easy to be controlled. Do you think I should tell him now who Jing really is? Not yet. It's not the right time.
look. People are coming! Beat the drum! Oh. 